here's how you can chroma key in GIMP basically what this is you have a solid color solid background and an object that stands out you do this when you want to extract an object out of an image is okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna extract him and put him in this in this image your your project might be different but you'll understand how it's done in GIMP and one more thing I can not be considered as a GIMP professional I've been using Photoshop for ages and I, have, I find it really hard to use ok let's begin first what we need to do is select a background for this we are gonna use this, key, use this tool the shortcut for it is shift tool or just select it and press the left click and it's gonna pick a selection to add the selection you're gonna press and hold shift key and add to add to a place that is not selected okay as you can see we have a nice selection but if it selected something more than you want it you can press ctrl and it's gonna unselect shift and hold it and it's gonna select again i think it's very easy to use okay now we need to delete the background because if we selected the background if we press delete it you can see that it deleted it but there is no transparency that's because our layer didn't have any transparency so what we can do is just right click on our layer and add alpha channel now if we press delete you can see that there is transparency okay great now let's select this person if you press ctrl a it's gonna unselect whatever we have selected now let's select this or use r shortcut and select you okay and press ctrl c then let's select this image and press ctrl v as you can see he is in our new image but okay you can move him with this or something and we can but you should know that we can't change anything else here right now because this is in a temporary layer to make this a prominent layer you can you should press uh, you should create a new layer and it will become part of it if we're gonna press anchor layer it's gonna become a part of this layer and we don't want that so create a new layer and it, it will automatically become part of that layer and we can we can edit other layers as well if we don't you can see that I'm right clicking and I cannot edit any layer except this, except this temporary layer so make it a prominent layer ok, now let's make it bigger for that you can select the scale tool and press on him and let's scale him if you don't want to lose the aspect ratio just press and hold control and as you can see the aspect ratio of the original image is preserved ok let's press k great and that's it we can move around here if we want let's not this let's select this layer ok ok whatever and that's it you can then save it by file save as or no file export and save it as however you want okay thank you for watching hope it was helpful subscribe